Hi, um, this is my review of the rotational 4 and 5 axes you can get from China. This is one of the variants that I found um, that I'm building a 5 axis CNC machine with. Just wanted to do a quick review because there's not much information about these out there and like the build quality and all that stuff. Um, I actually didn't get this from China, I got this, well, you can, most people get these from China, but I happen to get this from a reseller in the US, but, um, it came, as you can see, it has a belt drive, it's, I, I believe it's 8 to 1, um, and the top axis is, um, driven, directly driven, so, they're all NEMA 23s and it's just directly driven. So when I got this machine, it had, it had no play on this top axis, but did have it on this uh, on the fourth axis. Um, it would move back and forth on side to side. Um, and that created some problems, so I had to buy some thrust bearings and put them in between um, and get that working. So now there's no play. Actually, there were small little spacers um, in there, but they're all really chewed up, so I'm not sure what the story behind there, behind that is. So yeah, um, I'm building a 5-axis CNC machine. If you'd like to watch, um, please subscribe and like the video if this was helpful to you. Um, yeah, maybe I'll get a closer look at this real quick. I am using a prime lens so for this I don't have any zoom lenses so bear with me here so yeah um, that's how it looks like there isn't any play here and this is very very tight a very very tight belt. It's kind of hard to move just with this alone. You ha have to use this to move it. There are some spots where this is like kind of harder to move than the rest of the spots, but I think it'll just break in over time the more you use it. Um, this these this assembly. A little bit more about this assembly. Um, it's on a plate in the back. It's just M5, I believe M5 screws in the back with a spacer and then. Um, some holders with some bearings in them. Um, the bearings aren't all that great, but they work for what I'm doing. Um, so yeah, that's, that's my conclusion of my initial review of these. I've not tested these motors yet, so look for a following video, follow-up video for this, and build, build vlog. Thank you. A few things I forgot to mention. Um, this plate has uh, an M5, M5 bolt as a pattern for mounting and on the side there's set screws and there's like a pipe going through everything. Um, it's literally just a pipe It's um, and it's uh, connecting two bearings here and then another two bearings here um, and the pipe goes all the way up to here and there's, it stops here and it, it breaks in the middle and the NEMA 23 is in here housing and it's attached from the back um, and then the wire from here runs through from the inside of the pipe out here and then it also mine came with this uh, little cover that goes on the side too for protection and there's a little slot here there's a little slot here for the wires to come out so yeah, uh, a few other things. This is one or two things I forgot. And the uh, construction is um, aluminum and uh, with like a few steel parts here and there. Um, or not steel, just iron I think. Yeah, thanks.